present over here. Myself, Vivi Bhu, senior KG teacher from Genius English Medium School. So I want to start my presentation with one of the best proverb. Prakruti ke na kare bharan. Prakruti ka na kare bharan. Aao mil ke bachaye pariyavar. Aao mil ke bachaye pariyavar. So by listening the proverb, I think you all have some good idea regarding my topic. My topic is related to environment. But today I have merged the term environment with one of the prominent industry in India in today's era. I would like to ask the question to judges. Uh, which is the prominent industry in India in today's era, in today's time? Can you any of the answers? By manpower service industry? Yes. By manpower. Yes. Uh, it would be a hospitality industry. So uh, I have merged the topic environment with the hospitality industry. So my topic is an empirical study on green practices adopted by concrete hotels and eco-friendly hotels. Now what is eco-friendly hotel? We already have heard about the term concrete hotel because we all have been to the hotels. But today we will learn something different from that. Now what is hotel? So basically a hotel means a place or a property which give you a stay on a, uh, on a rent basis. You have to pay money and you have to stay. You either you stay for a one day, two day or you will include for the package. And not only they provide you the stay, but they also provide you other amenities, other facilities. So the facilities which the hotel industry includes is restaurants, suits, garden area for relaxation. Other is entertainment facilities, swimming pools, parking area and so on. Now all the uh, hotel industries which we are having nearby us are not safe. They are categorized as per the ratings. So there are mainly four types of hotels which we are having in India as well as in the abroad countries. Among them, the first one is the full service hotel. Now the term full itself suggests that you get all the amenities, all the facilities. The full service hotels are rated as a four star and five star hotel. Majorly these type of hotels are used by business tycoons. And these type of hotels are available in a metro cities like Mumbai, Bangalore, Pune and many other, uh, other metro cities. Now, the amenities which we are getting in full service hotels are luxurious rooms. These hotels are considered to be the most expensive hotels in the world. Uh, spa facilities, laundry facilities, time to time uh, room service facilities. Even they provide a staff to the uh, customers with the luggage. The uh, customer doesn't have to take the luggage. Now, we move forward with the second, that is limited. The term limited means you won't get every facilities. Either you get a food or either you get a stay. They are rated as a first star and second star hotels. Now, the third one is a selected service. You have to select or you, you get a selected items. Limited service and selected service, almost both the hotels are same. But uh, limited service are considered to be as a restaurant type, where you only get a food, you don't get, uh, get a stay there. Now selected service. Selected service are the, those services which are selected by the, uh, some of the persons who are visiting to uh, different states for business purpose. Like they have to stay only for two to three hours. And these types of hotels are mainly having a small, uh, small rooms, congested place. Uh, you get a small uh, okay, the kitchen, uh, kitchen setup and internet uh, connectivity and very basic amenities. Now last one is a themed and banquet hotel. Now themed base, the term itself suggests theme means they are conducting such a theme whether you feel that you are with the th uh, theme based place. I would like, here I would like to give an example of Rajko. We are having Sunny Paji Kathaba. I, uh, 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 all you have heard about it. Like uh, the owner itself is from Punjab and he has created such an environment that you feel that you are uh, sitting in Punjab and, it, uh, and taking your dinner. And the most thing is, uh, wonderful thing is that they are purchasing the spices from Punjab so that you can uh, get the delicious food or the real spices of Punjab. Now theme based banquet hotels also includes casinos, cruise hotels, <coughs> theme parks and also banquet. Now this is the cruise hotel. The first cruise hotel in India is started by the linear group, the Obere group of hotels in Mumbai. So this is the first cruise hotel in India. Now, the original term green hotel. What is green hotel actually? By what, uh, the basic definition of the green hotel is an environmentally friendly hotel. 
and that which practices green living for that create eco friendly uh, eco friendly environment for that guest ecotel also called as green hotel are also friendly or eco sensitive hotels which features innovative and imaginative programs or we can say campaigns for conserving natural resources reducing the waste minimizing the pollution and while maximizing the sustainability the term eco friendly doesn't mean that you uh, hotel should have a garden by having a garden it would uh, it would not be considered as an eco hotel they should have to follow some norms to become the eco hotel all these are the features of eco uh, eco friendly or a green hotel it includes use of solar panels use of uh, electric vehicles use of eco friendly chemicals by the way you can can anyone tell eco friendly chemicals are available in the market or not Yes or no? Yes. 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 Eco-friendly uh, chemicals, soaps, detergents, everything are available in the market, which are very uh, useful, or we can say which doesn't affect the environment. <laughs> Now, what is concrete hotel? Concrete the term uh, is derived uh, from the Latin word "contrarius." Now, which is uh, which means compact. It is made up of uh, any uh, merging the two things. is one of the most frequently used material in construction basically this type of materials are used for construction purpose it surrounds us more than steel wood plastic and aluminum combined concrete can provide a sustainable structure actually we india in uh, india prefers more uh, concrete hotels because we think that it lasts for a longer we go for durability we doesn't go for that it, whether it is affecting the environment or not these are the all materials which are used for building uh, for building purpose sand bricks uh, concrete items and many more now characteristics of green hotel or eco friendly hotel the first characteristics are saving the water water conservation water pollution is increasing day by day in india so it is required to save the water to purify to purify the water second is grow, uh, grow more plants We, we all know that deforestation is going on on a large scale so it is required that one should grow the more trees as as much as we can whether it would be nearby our home it would be in a public places it would be in a school or any area where, where you feel that uh, you feel you should grow a tree next is switch on or switch off it is a symbol of a switch on or switch off whenever there is a no use of electricity where uh, it would be your house it could be a school it could be any of the corporate places or whether you work anywhere you feel you should switch off you don't think of other that they will come and switch off the things it is your responsibility to do the same next is eco friendly vehicles one should convert from petrol based vehicles to eco friendly nowadays craze has came people are purchasing eco friendly cars and scooters because it uh, petrol based vehicles are affecting the environment next is wind power and solar energy use of wind power and solar energy is must nowadays in each and every place you go people are installing the solar energy because they uh, reduces the you consumption of electricity and they are giving this, uh, that electricity to the government so that they can use electricity which they have consumed the businesses which are going on in india <coughs> the five blocks for ecotel ecotel certification now ecotel what is ecotel certification does anyone knows what is ecotel certification ecotel yes it is a basically a certificate which the hotel should have to be eco friendly for that reason they have to follow this five norms if a uh, owner wants to make his hotel to be eco friendly then they should have to appear all these five in their hotel ecotel is an environmental certification that enables hotels to be truly green and socially responsible and sustainable over the long term now it is not such after getting this uh, certificate they should stop doing the activities which they have started they have to continuously run that process again and again term by involving the entire value they have to involve each and every person which are there in the hotel whether they are the owners architects operators employees suppliers and hotel guests each and every person should be included in this awareness campaign now among them first is the energy management system now as per the research it is found that 70% of the rooms in the hotels are get unoccupied 
and people are not worried about electricity or we can say guests are not aware about uh, they are not uh, we can say concerned about the electricity they just went and go away electricity is working as, uh, as it is so now uh, to avoid these things hotels have such uh, uh, facilities available through which we can uh, they can apply in the hotel among them first is smart uh, outlet these type of outlets are available now what is the use of this outlet basically we are having a normal outlet in which if even if don't you uh, plug anything the electricity will continuously generate but if you plug it it will also work here if you remove the plug it will stop and you plug in the electricity will uh, electricity will continuously uh, or we can say on the spot it will start so basically is me hota hai ki when the plug in uh, electricity start hoti okay. aur jab wo plug nikal denge electricity band ho jayegi same way the other sensors are also available they can use this sensors now solid waste management waste management is a internal part of ecotel operations the waste generated <coughs> in my case as far as possible should be recycled now it is uh, as per the survey it came out that 85 85% of the waste is generated from hotel itself 85% a ratio is much higher so they have to recycle here but i would like to give one example the taj hotel we all have heard about taj hotel they have uh, before 3 years they have started this campaign they have segregated the four bins along with four bins they have added one more bin and that bin is of black color now blue color is for paper green is for glass yellow is for plastic and the fourth one is of metal now that black bin is used for waste or we can say food they have collected the food in that and they will give that food to nearby the food bank so that def, uh, that food bank can give that food to a poor people so this was the campaign started by the taj hotel <coughs> environmental commitment now preservation and enhancement of natural resources now preservation of the natural resources is a basic responsibility of each and every citizen of india it is a not a citizen of any, any single person we all have to help in those campaigns the mission statement of hotel and resort the mission of the hotel should include if they want to go for eco friendly every hotel should have a green deal i would like to request you that not a hotel itself but any of the premises should have a green deal so that they can uh, work under it and they can improve the areas where they already require water conservation now water conservation is one of the more basic component of all the life on the earth we can't live without water the enrichment of water which chemicals and waste has become a universal problem nowadays now these are the all the problems and the solutions which a uh, uh, hoteliers can use they can use the less flow shower heads they can use the less sprinkler usage they can also use the smarter water pipes which are already available in the market now these are the list of ecotel certified indian hotels we also having in india ecotel certified hotels this is a shamheshwar village resort in kutch the whole village is converted into eco friendly list of ecotel certified international hotels these all are international hotels this mirava is the india the world's first hotel which have got started the campaign of being eco friendly and this is the first hotel which get the certification of being eco friendly now govern government initiatives for hospitality industry uh, basically before government has never taken any initiative uh, for such industries but now they have started they have decided to direct tie up with those industries which are eco friendly and they have decided to give subsidies also now after doing the uh, direct tie up they have uh, generated one app and customer will be able to do the online uh, ticket booking from that hotels and they also get uh, cheaper rates tickets available now limitations of the project as such uh, we doesn't have this type of any hotels in gujarat but we can say rajkot specifically doesn't have any hotel so my limitation was the, it is limited to only rajkot city I, it was not possible for me to go outside and do the research secondly green practices in hotels can't be measured for a shorter time actually this is a longer based concept we can't measure in a shorter time secondly respondents or managers don't respond sometimes due to 
snake of time or sometimes you intentionally they are not responding. Hotels they are not using green practices because of less respondents from the guest side and lack of knowledge among calls. Now we go to analysis and interpretation. So among them, 54% are the gender are the male members. Age is uh, 18 to 31 age group people are going to hotels more as compared to other age. Are you a customer or employee? Then they are the customers. Most probably I have talked with the customers. If you are an employee, then what is your position? Most probably they are the general managers because it is not possible to uh, meet the owner every time. What were the main reasons for you to visit the hotel? That is rest and relaxation. Or secondly is the food. Have you heard about green marketing? It is a very good to uh, listen that they are aware about the group, uh, green practices. Environment of which hotel do you prefer more? Of course, uh, customers are now, uh, they are uh, back for eco-friendly hotels because they doesn't want to go to the concrete hotels. They want something new and different. So they, they want an eco-friendly hotels in Rajkot too. So they want something which is environmental, not environmentally polluted. Benefits of adopting green marketing. The first is a good public image. If any one hotel would start this campaign, but obviously others will also get attracted and they will also start, at some extent they also will start this type of campaigns. Challenges for adopting green marketing. Part of it is rules and regulations because uh, we doesn't have any of the rules and regulations for the same in, uh, for the same in the uh, our policies. Conclusion: Eco-friendly products can significantly improve the environment by reducing the waste, energy, and chemicals. These products won't harmful the environment and not only uh, pro use but at the production stage also eco-friendly products are not harming the environment. Hoteliers have confirmed that the activities are carried out had an extreme high impact on the environment for a shorter and longer period. We, uh, I have already told that it is for a longer period. If you uh, measure in a shorter, shorter terms, then it won't be possible. Thank you. I, I would like to show you one beautiful video of Karnataka. I, I will not relate to this watch. Sir, video. This one. <laughs> The Smart Hotel in Karnataka's Timbabu City has no AC and runs on the sun. With an intent of reusing, reducing and recycling in all aspects, Sunyata Hotel's construction as well as its existence are sustainable. Construction activity contributes to 30% of air pollution in India. Sunyata Hotel's owner, Lokesh Gurjugnu, wanted to combat this harm to the environment. So he did it all. Solar panels, rainwater harvesting systems, coconut shell sealing, minimal usage of steel, purifying all the grey water, natural cooling techniques using PVC pipes, and eco-friendly bricks made from scratch. While the bricks have been made from the soil that is removed to level the ground, the ceilings are made of coconut shells and pot fillers instead of cement. The construction took place in the sunny months so that the solar panels could help power construction equipment. Interestingly, there are no ACs in this eco hotel. A PVC pipe runs 10 feet under the building and acts as a coolant pipe to cool down the rooms. Guru Guru personally ensured that not a single drop of water is wasted during construction. A 50,000 litre tank installed underground supplies drinking and cooking water to the premise. And the wastewater from bathrooms is purified and reused for gardening. Lokesh wants to ensure that even if the hotel is demolished in the future, it leaves no trash and becomes one with the earth again. Amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. You have money from the protest? 
Now we see the order of this board. Just like this. Just like this. Look, once the second plane or upper cut spot. Upper cut spot. So at that time, we first consider as innovation. We first consider as innovation. Now it is a common sense. How will you explain? So once uh, innovation, like is like tomorrow's common sense. Today's innovation is tomorrow's common sense. When somebody asks to say, "Can you play in any 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 club?" Everybody was saying, "You you know, you are such a good, and you should not play like this." He is again cricketing science and everything. But that time he was playing because he was effective. He was scoring the run. That's why it was an innovation at that time. Now should be a more yellow. Like three sixty degrees break the score. So it is a common sense, but it's really an outstanding performance, outstanding presentation. Put your hands together. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, you discussed regarding Sunny Paji ka dhaba. Actually, uh, way back, one of the food institutes had gone over there. The inspection ones. And they had found the food not of the quality that can be consumed. So what are your views for that? I mean, why do you say that? Actually, sometimes things happen. Like uh, way before the hotel was uh, came into Rajkot many years before. Like hardly it would be three four years before. But the sometimes this type of incidents comes. So might be because of that. He's focusing more on. Green and green. Thank you. 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 Thank ग्रीन इनिशियटिव के लिए सारे देश इकट्ठे होते हैं ये करते हैं प्रिंस चार्ल्स जब वो प्रिंस चार्ल्स होते थे तब इसके बड़े ही प्रोपोगेट करने वाले थे जनरली बंदे बिकम किंग और क्वीन नहीं करते हैं वो भी गए थे अभी चल रहा है आउट ऑफ 120 प्लस कंट्रीज खाली सात ने कार्बन इमिशन की तरफ काम किया अकेला एक ऑस्ट्रेलिया ने अचीव किया ये कल का न्यूज है मणिपुर कॉल्ड फाइंग विलेज इट इज वर्किंग फॉर द कार्बन सिक्वेंसेशन एक्चुअली एवरीवेयर एवरीवेयर कार्बन carbon sequent sequestration process is not there in all the states so we are, we are having also one village fine village in manipur is especially working for the carbon sequestration i also mentioned yeah, about yeah. sham hesharaj village resort was totally converted in eco friendly mera log book ka knowledge medal ke this is from manipur sorry aur aur bhi what is he saying anybody else yes